Welcome Libra. Okay, so we are going to look at the next two weeks and what is going on for you and how potentially we may be able to help you. Uh, using a mystical healing reading cards and the muse tarot and shadow healing. Okay, Libra. Let's get into it. I feel like there's some sort of delay. Interesting energy. Like, not yet. Not yet, Libra. Yeah. Anyway, okay, Libra. Okay, so Libra, let's have a look here. Examine your integrity. Interesting. Examine your integrity. I wonder if some of you there's something that you are putting out there which is not entirely you. And I don't think you're doing this um, to deceive anyone, Libra. I feel like you're doing this out of protection for yourself. I feel as though for some of you, Libra, you've been hurt to the point that it's just safer for you to do this. It's like, it's sort of like doing things... Um, so much on autopilot that it just becomes the norm for you you can do it with your eyes closed type of thing and um and i just yeah i i actually wonder if this is something about being in a comfort zone of um and the comfort zone has been created for safety mm. because even with the card it's like there's still something hidden, like you don't really want what it is to be seen type of thing, okay? So, yeah, but let's have a look. Tell me more about examine your integrity for Libra, please. Tell me more about this for Libra, please. Examine your integrity for Libra. really interesting with this card that one's landed upside down so I don't even know what it is yet but what's interesting sorry Libra I don't even know if you can hear me over the shuffling there's two cards we just want one but I'm just going to go back to this for a dick <sighs> take a breath okay I feel like with this puppet here right with this thing on the string which I can only say is a puppet even though it's not a puppet but it's a it's been controlled by it's been controlled by something but I it's been controlled by you but it's okay so we're going down a whole tangent here so Libra it's been controlled by you by something that has happened to you okay or something that has happened maybe even unconsciously there's some sort of there's something that you're doing in your life which is controlled by something. And it's interesting because I get these things come through like higher self. No. Subconsciously, this is happening, but it's also a conscious thing. It may be happening. It may be something that you did a while back consciously and now it's become such the norm for you. It's actually you don't even remember that you did this. You don't remember taking the hold of the strings and working things like this. You know, like you are a puppet. The other thing I want to say about this though is that on the puppet the wings are real. Okay, it's the wood. It's the wood that's not real. And the wood to me for this particular scenario is representing... You sort of hardening yourself to something. 
because it's too painful. And it's really interesting because the joints here are highlighted to me as well. I don't know if you can see this, but on the puppet you've got the little joints here. And these are standing out to me. Um, I'm just wondering if it's about you needing to connect the dots. Connect the dots so you can go from this time in your life now back. Oh yeah, and I did that then, and I did that then, and I did that then, then, and then. And that leads to the time that you initially decided to put yourself on this puppet string and sort of control yourself. It's like you're being controlled by yourself. It's very interesting. Temperance has come out here. Yes, see, this is this getting the balance here right. Being patient, okay? Um, I feel like something needs to be brought into alignment. I feel as though, as far you know, this is related to your purpose. It's like you're here for a purpose, but that has sort of been, oh, I wouldn't say lost, but I would say lost. <laughs> It's like it's not lost, it's still there, but your focus on it has been lost, I guess. And so it's getting back into that alignment with your purpose. Because you've still got your wings on. You've still got your earth angel wings on, but you've turned into this wooden puppet. And it's sort of like you can't have the wings and still fulfill your mission if you're a puppet, if you're a wooden puppet. Hmm. Anyway, eight of materials. Eight of materials here. See, this lady here, oh, I don't know if you can see, but there's these little, like, strings, sort of strings attached to these roses from her fingers. So, again, it's like, but, oh, look, it's now roses, you know, but it's like, no, 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 there's still strings attached to something. There's strings attached to something. And I just wonder if there's this a bit of trickery happening here to yourself. And when we're talking about integrity, is this you tricking yourself to say, well, I'm still growing because I've grown all these roses and they're blooming. And um, but there's still it's still under this control. It's still under this control. Okay, explore your ancestry. So this is going back generations. See here again, this one is being controlled. So this must be, this has to be, there's some sort of control over you maybe. Maybe it's, it's an intergenerational thing. Maybe it's been through the generations and that's why you're not aware of it, potentially. And there's things that you're not seeing here. There are definitely things that you are not seeing. Let's have a look. Tell me more about Explore Your Ancestry. We've got the Eight of Emotions. So walking away from something, it's like walking away from something to explore something else. And we've got the four of emotions. Sorry, I'll show you these. This is the eight of emotions and the four of emotions. So I feel like this is about you walking away
I thought it was going to come then, but there's, there's this thing, there's this like stop sort of thing. And, and I just wonder if the answer is back then. I really do think it's important for you to discover and talk to family members and ask questions about generations past. And even if you can't, you know, it could be that some family members have passed on or whatever. So even if you can't find that out, it could be looking at, okay, well, this was the year that my parents lived and this was the year they were teenagers and this was the year they were in their 20s and da-da-da-da-da. And this, this was the year that my grandparents were born and this was the year my great-grandparents were born. And go through and try and work out I think it's going to take you on a bit of a journey and a bit of self-discovery, to be honest. And this is going to require you to be very honest with yourself. The other thing I want to say about the forum of emotions, I feel, is there's something hanging over you and it's weighing you down. Now, I have just seen this person is looking for this four of cups, looking for the fourth cup here. And you see this, I don't know if you can see this, but I've only just noticed this, there's this outline here, you know, you might see the two faces here, but the outline of that is actually a cup itself. And there is something you're not seeing clearly. There's something you're not seeing clearly. And I just wonder if for some of you, you feel like it's being lost in the black hole, like you, it, it's not clear, it's not coming to the light. And, um... I just wonder if that's more an attitude thing of how you're looking at it. Being open to receiving the information, I want to say. Being open to receiving the information and... Um, rather than thinking, oh, I can't find that out. Oh, I would get no answers from that. It's about you kind of putting the pieces together yourself. I feel okay assimilate life experience <clears throat> interesting I feel as though for some of you there are pieces of the puzzle that have been mismatched They've been put together because it looks like it fits, but it doesn't fit the overall picture. That's all I'm getting from that. Nothing else. Tell me more about Assimilate Life Experience. We've got the six of materials. See, there's things that have been handed down. There's things that have been handed down and nothing fits, nothing's, nothing's fitting. It's very interesting. Yeah, I feel like with the six of materials here, these are about things that have been handed down. And, um, you know, you've got these roses here. You know, it's like you've caught all these beautiful roses and... There's something that's not adding up, that's for sure. We've got the Muse of Inspiration here as well. Yeah, I feel like just I feel like for some of you there could be a fire inside of you that you're trying to ignore something that has been ignited and you don't want to acknowledge it okay um I also wonder if for some of you there's a passion that you would like to pursue but you 
It puts you out there. It puts you out there into the world and you don't want to be seen. You are trying on all these other costumes to avoid wearing the one you're actually meant to wear. And you don't want to see it. You're not really stepping into your power, if you like. Um, I don't know if power is the right word, but you're not stepping into um, your purpose. Um, because it feels so uncomfortable for you that um, you would much rather something that's in that comfort zone rather than out of it. And... Yeah, see, it's filling me with anxiety. It really is. Yeah, that's all I'm feeling is anxiety about it. But you know, you know. You, it's sort of like you know that you're doing that, but you're okay with that because it's more comfortable. Anyhow, you have support. Look at this. I love this. You have support. Okay. Okay. Okay, Libra, this is about, because, you know, it's been that you've gone throughout your life sort of wearing this mask of this wooden figure, right? But the true, the truth, oh, yeah, see, the truth of the wooden figure is that they're really this angel here. And what's happened is she's taken the wings of herself and put it on this wooden figure to go, oh, yes, this is it. And this, this is, this here can only do so much because it's unable to to physically do anything else okay and that doesn't mean that you're um physically disabled at least there are you know some of you may be you know but it means that it's this this sort of i don't want to say box because that's not the right word but you've put yourself into a category and you've kept yourself small you've kept yourself limited and you've sort of disabled yourself in a sense from moving forward the only way that this puppet can fly is if she lifts them up okay but they have wings but the wings have been put on the wrong thing she is meant to be wearing these wings not the puppet and I feel like this is the case for you Libra you need to reclaim your wings so that you can fly, okay, um, and when, and, and so that's what I feel like this mask here represents, okay, is you having put these wings on something out somewhere else that they don't belong, and that is what this assimilate life experience is about, there are things that don't belong, and the wings don't belong on this puppet, they belong on this woman here, okay, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, all right, it's just, how the cards are coming out anyhow interestingly enough i'm seeing the same mask here and the wall here why am i seeing this why because this person's eyes are covered also so they're not really seeing things for how they are but they have so they had a mask on, but the eyes were also covered as well. So it's almost like this backup. Well, if I drop the mask, at least I've got my eyes covered and I definitely won't be able to see them. Okay, but it's sort of like with this being here, it's like this is your destiny. This is ingrained in you. You can't avoid it. It's sort of like you have to step out of that um, that um, restricted limited hold that you have over yourself and put your wings back on so you can fly tell me more about you have support and aside from the obvious words you have support this is about you supporting yourself and look here now oh yeah it's like oh okay i'll put the wings on there and it's like shove them in the head it's like, no, 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 it's not happening. And I feel like for you, Libra, sometimes I feel like with you, the support is actually people saying to you, no, you're not doing that. 
good try, but no, you know? And so really allowing, you know, people who do that with love, who do that with support, who will still help you, lift you up when you're testing out those wings and you're ready to fly, they're going to hold you there. They're going to hold that space for you. And when you fly, because you've still, you know, you've got to develop those wings and you've got to learn how to use them. You know, they're going to be the ones that take you to the flying lessons for the angels, for the earthbound angels, for the human angels. You know, they're the ones who are there for you. Okay. We have the two of materials here as well. And I feel like, again, this is you not seeing, but this is about you juggling. And again, this is the balance, okay? Getting things into balance for yourself, okay? Um, yeah, part of this is denial. Part of this is you tricking yourself in a sense, um, and <laughs> I feel like that part of it you're aware of. <laughs> At least some of you are anyway. And you can have a good giggle at yourself about how you do that. But when you do, it is actually about changing it as well. Yeah, you know, going, oh, yeah, I totally do that. But then going, okay, so what do I need to do to change that, you know? So one more card for you have support. And the other thing I do want to say about this two of materials here is that you can, um, you know, it's like you're trying to hold the two roses here and um, trying to work out and almost like she's looking to the heavens to say, oh my goodness, could you help me with these two roses? Because I don't know how to hold them. And then, you know, go and take a step forward and put my feet down and how am I going to do all this? And, um, but, you know, there are people around you who can support you who will say, hey, just let me hold the roses for you while you walk forward and then I'll give them back to you. You know, um, it's sort of like you feel like you have to do it all and you don't. Okay, you can delegate and you can hand over some responsibility to other people. Okay, I feel like there could be something in your life where you are delegating and you are handing things over to other people, but in your mind, it's still fully your responsibility and this is, is where the issue lays. You're not actually mentally handing over that responsibility. You still, yeah. And I feel like if you trip and fall, or if other people trip and fall while they're holding that rose, that's for them to learn. You can't avoid that. You can't have control over that in a sense, okay? So this is really important and could be very difficult to deal with, okay? But it is also necessary for those other people to grow as well, okay? The nine of materials, I love this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I feel like this is actually sort of like this. Like once you get closer to what appears to be the darkness, it actually ends up being a beautiful. This reminds me of a song. It reminds me of a tune being played. And um, and I just wonder if this is about you playing the tune that is inside of you, Libra, to allow that to come out. Okay. Um, I wonder if this also is about you holding the space for everyone else to, to sing their tune while you don't get to. Because that's comfortable for you. Because it's it's actually like, oh yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. Not a, you know, I'll do that then. And it's like, yeah, good, I'll definitely do that because then I don't have to step out there and do what I'm actually here to do. Yes. Okay, so let's have a look. Break addiction. Break addiction, Libra. What is it that you are addicted to? There is something about this phoenix hatching out of this egg here. There's something about the phoenix hatching out of this egg. Um...
don't know, I do not know. It's like this sort of trickery. I don't know if break, there will be some of you where break addiction is absolutely applicable for you. But you know what? I feel like this is about you holding space again for everyone else to raise up. And while you just lay there going, yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Uh, but it does serve its purpose for you. Because it stops you from growing. Like, it's like you're growing. It's like you're growing, Libra, Libra but you're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything with the growth. Right? You're nurturing, you're loving, you're doing all these things, but you're not doing anything with the growth. Yeah. Nine of inspiration we have here. See, this person here, she's coming up, right? She's coming out. Okay, and I feel like this is what you need to do. There's some sort of um, something you're hiding behind, though. Something you're hiding behind, whether you're aware of it or not, it doesn't matter. There is something you're hiding behind. We have the page of inspiration here as well. <laughs> and um, this is about you learning um, how to break free, I feel. How to break free of these restrictions that you've placed upon yourself. Okay, the last card here, actually, I want to shuffle these. Is there one flipped up there? No, sorry. We pick it up and I'm like, no, shuffle. Okay. Relinquish control. Look at this. Look at this here, Libra. Cut those strings. This is you. This is you rising up here. This is you flying, right? You flying, cutting them strings, becoming aware of how you're holding yourself down and cutting those strings. Wow. Wow we. Tell me more about relinquish control for Libra, please. Too many cards. It's five of inspiration. This could be about you setting someone, like, not setting someone free because you're not holding anyone there. This is about you setting yourself free, actually. Yeah. This is about you setting yourself free. We have the five of inspiration and we have the eight of inspiration. Man. This is totally about your passion, your your whole entire, entire reason for existence in this lifetime on this earth. Seriously, it is. Like, I can't even tell you. Like, I can't even stress that enough, Libra. Okay, we've got the five of inspiration here and someone climbing up. Okay, they've got all these mirrors here and they're using the mirrors, but they're not truly, truly looking deep enough for them to see how it is that they're holding themselves back. They're saying, oh yeah, I have this mirror. Oh, and now I've progressed to this mirror and now I've progressed to this mirror. But the thing is, not really looking at how it is that they're holding themselves back from having other sorts of mirrors. Okay. Mm. The eight of inspiration here. This is about you becoming clear. This is about you stepping out. And, you know, just not just discovering that passion, if you don't know what that is and what it is the that the purpose is that you are here to do. Not maybe what other people have said, what it is in your heart of hearts that you are here to do 
okay um, I feel like some of you have come to an agreement that with yourself that oh this is what I'm here to do and done that because it fits into your comfort zone you're not growing you're not growing if you're always in this comfort zone right so in that regard um yeah I feel like there is this need to move forward yep it is scary 100% no doubt about it it's scary for everyone yeah but it's necessary okay so we're going to have a look at the shadow healing now shadow healing for Libra three cards please we've got discontentment I love this it says something doesn't I'm just going to stop shuffling these so I can focus discontentment something doesn't feel right but identifying what's missing eludes you Re-examine the situation from a distance and missing pieces will become obvious. Love that. Okay, next card for Libra. That didn't come out properly. Uh, next card. Two more cards for Libra, please. There we go. Okay, so the first card here, we have Torment and we have Grief. Okay, Torment. Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exasperates the problem further. First, make peace with yourself and shortly thereafter, you will regain confidence. Grief. The feeling of loss can be debilitating, but sorrow becomes part of our healing experience. What you have far outweighs what you lost. But at least you had it for a time. Yeah. And that's not to minimise any grief that you've experienced. Um, but I feel like it's very important for you to realise that what you've lost is, um, you know, can become a gain as well if you view it like that. Okay. Okay, so Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. All right, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.